Hey guys, welcome to Finding Ithaca. Uh, today I wanted to do a commentary on that story we read together called The Biggest Bear about Johnny. He, uh, he has a, finds a little bear cub and then he finds out that the bear grows up to be too big. He's got to get rid of the bear and then he feels like he's going to have to do the unthinkable. He thinks he's going to have to end the bear's life, but luckily the zookeepers come and take him off to the zoo. So uh, anyway, I wanted to introduce a, a friend of mine. His name is Officer Isaac. Officer Isaac, thanks so much for joining us today. Oh, no, thank you. It's a pleasure. Sure. So I uh, wanted to start right off the bat because in this story that we read together, the little it's a historical story. It's from a long time ago, and it's from a, you know, a different place where the kid actually helps out the parents with the hunting. And he, he, the very beginning of the story, he's holding on to like a hunting rifle. And you don't see that around here, definitely not in our area, for sure. But I want, had a question for you. What should kids do if they ever stumble across a, a gun of some kind, either at home or, or somewhere else? Well, the first thing to do is always treat it as if it's loaded and dangerous, obviously. Um, so don't touch it. Don't play with it. Don't let your friend play with it. Anything like that. Don't pass it around. Oh, look at this cool toy. No. Stay away from it. Tell an adult as soon as possible. And they'll take it from there. They'll handle it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, guns are definitely not toys. There's a difference. So, uh, Speaking of differences, what is the difference between tattling and reporting? Uh, and why is reporting so important here at school at Franklin? So the main difference is the importance of something. Um, if Johnny has a piece of gum and he's not supposed to have gum in class, well, is the, should he have the gum? No. Is it gonna really cause any major issues or problems? Also, no. Now, if Timmy had a pocket knife and he was playing with it and passing it around, that's just something that you might want to say something about because that has the potential, just like in the story of the bear cub, that has a way of getting out of hand real fast. <laughs> Very good. That was, that was going to be my next question is what are some things that if not addressed can become a bigger problem later, like in the story? And you kind of just touched on that. Was there anything else you wanted to add or, or no? Um, anything could really fit that description. Um, it could be behavioral, you know, as kids, as kids I know, myself, myself included, we, we like to push the boundary a little bit. bit. Each time, Each time we push, we push it a little bit farther, a little bit farther. Bit farther. And, then and then before you know, you know it, it, it's so far, so beyond, far beyond where it was where initially. It was initially. So, so anything, anything, could anything could be that, be that applicable, I suppose. But it's just something, it's just something you have to, you have to be, aware be aware of and keep an eye out for. Sure. So uh, right now in mentorship, uh, today we were talking about the topic of kindness, right? And we said uh, that kindness is when we, our actions show others that they have value, like they're valuable, right? Through our actions and through our words that we say. And so we talk about that old saying that says, go the extra mile, right? And so uh, in Roman culture, if you were a Roman soldier, you had all the power. And you could like point to a citizen and say, you have to carry my things and you have to do it for a mile. And that was by law required. In fact, if you said no, you'd have to go to prison. And so uh, we talk about like how difficult that would be to carry their things for like an entire mile, stop your whole day, get, you know, and then do that. And then uh, what if for some reason you decided to take their things an extra mile beyond what was required of you? What, do you th what kind of message do you think that would send to the Roman soldier? I mean... Go ahead. That would send the message of basically, hey, I get it. You've been carrying this stuff for, you know, the past 15 miles. I'll, uh, I respect you. I appreciate you. Let me, I'll take another mile for you so you can have a little bit of a break. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, at Franklin, we require our students to be respectful towards each other. But to go the extra mile would be to think of ways to show each other kindness. Like my son this weekend has been showing lots of kindness. He uh, helped carry the groceries. He helped, uh, um, you know, clean up the house. He even was nice to his brother, which is like never, <laughs> <laughs> never happens. But he was yeah, like, yeah, 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 <laughs> that, yeah, that, that doesn't happen. <laughs> 
So what, just curious, what, what is the favorite part of your job here at Franklin, Officer Isaac? I, I like just walking around, talking to the kids. Um, that's definitely the highlight of this job in particular is getting to interact with the kids and talk with them and learn about them. Obviously with COVID, I don't have a whole lot of an opportunity to do that, but I, I make do with what I got, you know? Um, but yeah, definitely talking with the kids and interacting with them is, is the highlight of my day. That's awesome. And I'm glad that they get to see your face now. They get to know that you're a nice guy. You're yeah. smiling. <laughs> There's a smile under that mask. So uh, they don't have to be afraid to come up and talk to you if they see something or, you know, if they want to uh, ask you about something, you're, you're around and you're, you're... Oh, by all means, by all means. If you see me walking around in the hallway, whatever, say hi, talk, come up, talk to me. If you see something that I should know about or maybe you're not sure if I should know about, mention it to me. Worst case scenario is that it's nothing and no harm done, you know? <laughs> That's right. Uh, what was, do you have a favorite story or a favorite type of story that you'd like to read growing up, Officer Isaac? Uh, historical fiction was my go-to. Um, there's an author, C.J. Henty, I believe. He wrote a whole series of books that he told his bedtime stories to his kids, then put into actual novel form. But... I, I love historical fiction, everything about it. You learn about the past and get a good story at the same time. <laughs> yep. Well, thanks so much for being willing to come on and talk to us today, Officer Isaac. I really appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. So uh, anyway, we always like to end with a catchphrase. Uh, catch you next time. Do you mind saying that for us? Catch you next time. Awesome. Solid job. All right, guys, we'll uh, make sure you subscribe and we'll catch you next time.